My name is David Levy, and I am the owner of Tie Cycles. We started in 1990 building titanium bikes, and the current level of production, we produce between 30 and 50 frames out of the shop every year. We do predominantly titanium, but we also still build chrome molly, and we build those on custom and a production basis. All the titanium bicycles are built custom specifically for customers. There are currently three of us in the shop, and uh, all of the work you see on the bicycle here was all done in-house. This is a gravel road bike that uh, we have built uh, using Reynolds double-butted main tubes. And one of the features of this bike is the uh, printed titanium dropout that we have. We're working with Reynolds to develop a specific dropout that will offer a number of features that will be difficult to be able to uh, create without the printing process actually has got a DI2 route uh, port that's built into the middle of it. It's a 12 mil through axle. All of those features are printed in place as well as having a uh, mudguard attachment that is uh, possible for the, the uh, builder to be able to utilize. It's actually hidden inside the printed feature so if the builder wants to use that they'll be able to drill it, tap it, and it's right there uh, while having the structure built around it. But if they choose to do that on a more race specific bike they wouldn't have to. As far as the parts, all of the, uh, the fabrication that you see, the, the tube shaping um, is done in-house. Uh, other pieces that we offer, the titanium stem is a tie cycles part. Uh, we also offer seat posts. Uh, this particular bike has got a, uh, an FSA carbon post on it, uh, but we do offer those uh, for more city applications and mountain bike applications. We build custom handlebars as well. So those are features that we offer, but on a gravel road bike like this, um, it's really more about a traditional road racing position with clearance for bigger tires. So in the northwest in Portland where we're located, uh, gravel road racing is very popular. People are using this not only for race application, but as an adventure bike, where someone could ride this on gravel roads, go through the, the forest service roads, uh, other places that are going to uh, have access at a slightly bigger tire is going to be comfortable, but not real off-road, single track, or rooty kind of uh, applications. This particular uh, frame is designed around a 32C, so not a real big tire. Uh, we uh, build these on a custom basis, so we could easily build this bike to accommodate up to a 42. Very similar geometry, we'd still have clearance um, even with this length of chainstay to run up to a 42 if we had just used a different chain, a different chainstay configuration. Okay. The bicycle also uses a monostay in the back, which is built around the tire size that we have, but we can build that in any width that the customer would desire. Uh, the benefits of the titanium are high strength, lightweight, and a finish that's very durable, and for a gravel road or an off-road application, it's very easy to keep it good looking. A bike like this, we think is really viable for a lot of different riders. People will buy this and they may use it off-road or they may just like the more relaxed geometry and use it as an all-around road bike with a skinnier tire. We think it's real versatile and this has been very popular for us and we hope to be selling a lot of them.